Hello everyone, this is Christopher with InMotion Hosting. In this video we're going to be talking about plugins. Plugins are used in all sorts of computer programs, but we're going to be focusing on plugins you would be using in your website. Sometimes these are called modules. For this video we're just going to call them plugin. We're talking about plugins in the context of your website. Most websites these days are dynamically generated. This means the browser churns through code to generate a site from top to bottom. So you start with unfriendly looking code and end up with a neat organized document. A plugin is used to add different functionality to the original code. For example, if you're using WordPress, you may install a plugin that adds a modal window to a page of your site. The plugin has added its own code to the normal code of your site, so the modal window generates as part of the site. Adding a plugin to your site is heavier than you may think. A dynamic site depends on a lot of different pieces of code working seamlessly together. Adding a plugin to the site means popping a foreign piece of code into the atmosphere. It may work perfectly, or you might get an error. Or, perhaps the worst, you may get a blank white screen with nothing on it. This is why it's always best to test plugins in a development environment. If you don't have a development environment, get one, or just make sure to check the ratings and reviews of the plugin before installing. In most cases, the description will tell you if the plugin has been tested with the latest version of your site software. I hope you have a clearer idea now of how plugins work and how you can use them to improve or augment your site. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Be sure to visit the InMotion Hosting Support Center for tutorials about some of the most popular WordPress plugins.